that's me. I thought I'd share with you my meal plan since, yes, you heard it right, I meal plan this week. I'm going to share with you my meal plan, and I'm going to share with you the small little grocery haul I did to complement my meal plan, because I didn't have everything I needed, and I will show you my meal plan. I know, this is a first for me. Not sure you'll see this all the time, but I thought I'd try. I'm trying to be more organized. This channel's helping. Let me turn you around and show you my meal plan for the week. Alrighty, this is the new meal planner I've been talking about from Life and Apples. They sent me this meal planner to try and share with my subscribers. And I did a video unboxing on Saturday, which is up on the channel. I will link that video in the cards and I will show you my meal plan. It says weekly meal plan and then you put the week. Of course, I didn't put the week. We'll say the week is... So it was 9.29, there we go. Sunday was yesterday. We started off with Amish burgers and queso dip. I did not have the queso dip. I just had the Amish burger and a Amish bun. Yeah, I, all, well, I went full throttle on that one. Today, Monday, we're having tacos with bean dip and leftover queso. Tuesday, we're having chicken and sour cream enchilada bake. I found this recipe on Joan's Pointed Plate. If you ever need recipes, I will link her channel or her website here. You can go check it out. She's things listed pretty organized. Wednesday, I'm going to a local butcher around the corner who butchers pork mostly. And they make a cool ham loaf, which kind of tastes like the Amish, Mar Amish ham loaf. There's a lot of Amish, a lot of Mexican this week. So my boys really like this ham loaf, so I'm going to get a couple pounds. Maybe I'll show you on um, Wednesday what it looks like. It's really good. You cover it in um, crushed pineapples and brown sugar. Maybe I won't put that on there. But that's Wednesday. Thursday, egg roll in a bowl. Friday, fish sandwiches for them. And either shrimp or I have a frozen filet for me. And I'm going to do french fries. I'm not sure what I'm going to have. I don't think I'll have french fries. I don't like french fries with a grilled piece of fish. So I'm going to work on that one. I might just do a, a side of couscous, which I crossed out. But now I remember why I had it on there. Saturday we'll be out to dinner because my husband has 5 o'clock mass. I'll be at a yard sale for our ladies group all day. And I don't feel like cooking. So he's taking me out to dinner. And on the next side of this pad, it has prep. And you put all what you need to prep for each meal on the side. See, I put Joan's point of plate because I gotta find that recipe on here. Buy mix at the at Haynes. I gotta get the mix for the ham loaf. And buy the burger rolls, which I did. But here, and then you write your list. Up a little bit higher. Here's your list, shopping list. So you have your plan, your day, your plan, your prep and your list. And then what you do is it's perforated. So you perforate it and you pull it out. You can take it to the store. What I did since I didn't go to the store this week, I did a Walmart grocery order online is I just took, left this in the other room and I took this to my computer and I put in an order. This is what all I needed for all these recipes. Some stuff I already had, so I didn't have, didn't have to get too much, but if I was going to the store, I just throw this in my purse and I'm off. Then you rip it in the next week when you go to prep, do the same thing again. Each there's three different designs. Here's a pink one, and there's a green one, and then the pineapple again. I'm trying it out. So trying to meal prep because I know being prepared makes you successful. Knowing what you eat makes you successful. Now you probably could fit breakfast, lunch, and dinner on each one of these, but I am just <clears throat> prepping dinner right now because most times my lunch is leftover dinner. And, and sometimes my breakfast, I make the night before normally if it's like the um, overnight oats, I'll prep that the night before. Or I'll just have a bagel I'll take out of the freezer that I've made a two ingredients of a bagel. So I don't really, and I'm the only one here that eats healthier. <laughs> Hence the fried uh, fish sandwiches that you're seeing here. And the ham loaf. I'll eat the ham loaf. I will figure out the points for it, but I don't think I'll eat the brown sugar glaze. I might just put that on the side or maybe make my, maybe I'll just put a little part of the ham loaf on the side and cook it separately from theirs. I, mean, I don't know. I can, I'll kick, I'll take the points and I'll see what, how many points it actually really is. So this is my meal plan for the week.
Now let me show you my Walmart grocery haul. All right, let's get started on this grocery haul. I have a carton of 60 large white eggs. I have the ground beef for the tacos. I do believe it's upside down. That is the lean I ordered. 93, yep. I got a pack of chicken breasts for several recipes this week. The Mission Corn Extra Thin. Yes, tortillas for the enchilada bake. And I'm gonna have them with the chicken. Some tricolor coleslaw. I'm gonna make chicken egg roll in a bowl with later this week. So I got that. Hamburger buns for the family. Cause on fish night, I'm having a fish filet and they're gonna have the crispy battered fish sandwiches. So I got those for them. Always good to have some jasmine rice. This is my favorite rice, jasmine. It comes out awesome in the Instant Pot. If you've never made rice in the Instant Pot, you certainly need to. This was one of my substitutions. I ordered a smaller can of green chilies, so they upgraded me to the larger can of green chilies for the same price. So, win-win in my book. And I have cream of chicken, low fat for the enchilada bake. Got that. I'm not sure if I had one, so I traded for 89 cents. I picked it up. I have two cans of fat-free Ready Whip because... We all know this is our life blood here in WW. Plus, it's been out the last two times I've been there. They haven't had it. So, I got two jars, two cans. My husband likes this. This grosses me out. But he likes it, and it's cheap. So, I throw it on the side for a month or while. It's the Reed German potato salad. I think he ate it as a kid. So, look at the points. 120 calories for him. That's a lot. But it's, I'm not eating it, so it grosses me out. Here are the fish fillets for our fish sandwiches. Easy dinner. I'm gonna have a flounder filet, frozen, just plain fish, and then we're gonna, we'll do a side of couscous maybe. We'll see if it's on the, um, the docket for that night, but this is for the family. And I got a Fairlife fat-free milk. This is for making homemade yogurt in the Instant Pot. If you've never made homemade yogurt in the Instant Pot, you need to. It's it's delicious. It really is. And it's delicious plain. You don't even have to have vanilla. It's just great plain. So we eat it. I cook with it. It's really, really delicious. It takes eight hours, but well worth it. And it's cheaper. I think this was three something. And it makes like one of those quart containers. Delicious. I think I spent $46. But I did get a huge thing of eggs and a huge pack of chicken. I think the chicken was $9. Of course, ground beef is never cheap. I don't think it says what that was, but so that's my mini grocery haul. I'm going to bring you back and show you what I got at Shoprite. A few interesting food finds. So stay tuned for One that. Things I found at Shoprite this week. I found this Ronzoni 150 calorie pasta. And if you look on the nutritionals, serving size about a three quarter cup, two ounces, is four points. Right? This one's giving you grams. This one's giving you ounces. So 56 grams, which is usually, I believe, two ounces, is four points. In most pastas, it's six. You can get one for five. Here's one for four. Bad news is you only get 10 ounces. It's always going to screw you. They have it in the spaghetti. Same thing. See? Two ounces, four points. One fifth of the package. And again, 10 ounces, but it was on sale for 88 cents. The only reason I got it, I have two spaghetti and one ziti. And I found these cute little boys, the Triscuit Minis. Look how cute they are. Adorbs. So these are four points for, looks like 28 crackers. Of course, you always have, always have to have 28. You could have half for two or a third for, I don't know what that'd be, but might be two. I love Triscuits. Go good they are. Don't get though. And I found this cute little, to be our for our tacos this week, tortilla bowl kit, mini flour tortilla bowls. These are just tortillas in the shapes of bowls. But these are mini bowls. They have a bigger one. These, you get five points for three bowls. So if you have three bowls, and it's also counting three tortillas and one tablespoon of sauce and a teaspoon of seasoning. Well, 
I don't really like the sauce. I'd rather have salsa. But if you choose to have the sauce, that's counted in for you. And I don't count seasoning, but if you count seasoning, that'd be you. That's five points for three. Now, three is an awful lot. I mean, they're not probably not that big, but we'll see. I'm going to make refried beans. Oh, you saw that on the menu today. But you know what? I thought it'd be fun to try. And this, my people, is a bargain. I've never really noticed. I always get this for the boys, marshmallow fluff. But when I scanned it, it's scaled right on top. One point per tablespoon. Shut up. I mean, seriously, that's really, look at the calories. For two tablespoons, it's 40 calories. So one tablespoon would be 20. You know, not for nothing, but you want something kind of like, you like, you do like the PB2 and fluff for a very low calorie snack. Dip your apples in I mean, it's not bad. I've seen worse things, but yeah, I can have it on WW. How super cool is that? And like I mentioned, when I mentioned these tortillas, I think you get one for one point, two for three, and three for four, I think it was. These are the extra thin corn. You know, I said they were corn. I like corn. Some people only like flour. I'm a corn tortilla girl. So they were a cute couple cool little finds that I picked up at ShopRite. I thought I'd share them with you. Hey, that was my first ever menu plan and a grocery haul combined. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a hot mess, but I'm brand new with this, so excuse it. And if you something you'd like me to do again, please let me know at the description box below, and maybe I'll do it again. You never know. Dish with D. It's a little bit crazy. All right, thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you want to hit that notification bell, that's up to you. Let you know when Dish from the uploads. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up.